Okay, that's humming, so we got that. Utility shelf, crammed with mismatched tools and items. There's a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take it? Yeah, we did. So I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. Oh dear. I've got so much on me. I've got a knife, I've got a gun, I've got a hammer, I've got a rope. Well, I had a rope. That was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take it? Yeah! Slip the key card into my pocket. Why didn't you put it in your wallet? I guess we might not have found our wallet. Yeah, we pushed the switch. And we pushed it again, because the power wasn't still... Oh, we can skip! Oh. Ah, oh, these are not working. Hey! That's... That's all five, isn't it? Is that four? I think that might be... No, that's all five. That's all five. Yeah, because we turned this one on as well. Alright, so we should have the power working again to go through that door. But I have that key card I want to try out. I used the hammer. Ah, the old wooden boards came apart easily. After I removed the planks, I left the hammer on the floor. So the hammer was to get through this door. Which... This was my locker. There it was, in the factory. It stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel on the inside. It... It looked like it had been torn up. I thought I'd taken that picture home when the factory closed. Hmm. The floor was littered with old liquor bottles. I wonder if that man in the house had something to do with this. He shared a lot of alcohol at his place. Hmm. I don't think it's a separate man, dude. I think this might have been you. Um, anyway, let's go open that old keycard door. I think it was this way. Dude, I wish we could go a little bit faster, but I guess that's meant to add the whole tension of the situation. The key card I found seemed like it would pass through this reader. Did I use the key card? Yes. There was some kind of ventilation hatch there. It looked like I could jump down the room below. My leg hurt enough as it was, but I couldn't see another option. Did I jump? No. It was too chicken to jump down that broken ladder before. Why do it now? There had to be another way. There probably is. So I ain't going down. I've turned all the power back on. I'm going to guess the power. We'll, we'll just walk through the power door. I ain't jumping down shit. If I've got a gammy leg. The last thing I'm going to do is jump down something. Hey, we got the keycard. That's cool. We're about half an hour in. You know what? It's not bad. It says it'll take an hour and a half, so... Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm fired up. Hey, all the power's on. With the power box working again, the door was unlocked. Did I go through? Yes. Yes, you did. A rack of flashlights hung on the wall. One of them was missing. I think I'm holding it, dude. But okay. My head ached terribly as I closed the door behind me and saw the woody path beyond the light of the factory. Still, it was better than that stuffy, foul-smelling room I had found. Who would have used the old locker room? Someone was obviously going up there, but it didn't make any sense. If I could reach town from there, maybe I could find Norman's store. It was close to one of the main roads. Maybe he could help. I'm gonna go find Norman, really? He seems like there's a big dent in this thing. Whoa, that's a car. That's your trucker career off the road and into the guardrail. Its front was crushed and its windows had all smashed. Judging by the rust, it had been there a while. Okay. Trying to get home. I guess that. I didn't realise, I guess that's what we'd be trying to do in the game. Kind of makes sense in the name of the game being home. Well, I get the feeling we'll get home, we'll find lots of police, but that's just me. Right, we're getting somewhere. Garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish cover poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yeah, you took it back. Yours. I cleaned the card off the best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card and now this. I took the card into my wallet next to my credit card. Okay, this is a bit weird. Sounded like it was going to start raining again. Ah, bit of thunder and lightning to rub the atmosphere. I entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet, except for the faint sound of a television. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's go up first. Let's get spot upwards. There's no second floor by the looks of it. What the hell? I don't know if Rachel's old arm coat's hung up on a rack. That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing there? Oh, you don't think she was cheating on you with Norman? Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and even a few items I didn't think were legal here. One of the slots on the rack was empty. The gun I had found... Ah, seemed to match the others there. The handgun was Norman's. What the hell was he doing with it? 
The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? Hell no! Though it weighed on me, I had a hard time parting with a weapon just then. Yeah, I'm keeping the motherfucking gun. So, did Rachel treat on you with Norman? And you hunted him down? Oh, what? what? I don't... I don't... Oh, that's a lot of blood again. Okay. Oh. What was this? It looked like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wondered where it led. Did I pull it? Yeah, of course you did. I gave the chain a single tug and a simple falling allowed it, allowed it pop down. Okay. That's, TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. That's, is this Norman? Jesus. I can't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker and one of the few friends I had in this town, lay dead beside his armchair. His face and his shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been shot trying to get up. His eyes were wide with shock, though they were already drying. Norman, what was Rachel doing here? Why did you have her coat? Norman, maybe you deserve better. You probably did. Did I close his eyes? Yeah, we closed his eyes. I closed his eyelids down, shuddering as I did so. I wasn't sure I wanted to give him peace, so if it just couldn't stand to think anymore about what was going on. So, I think we killed Norman because Rachel was cheating on us with Norman. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to go to the attic. I'm going to go to the attic. See what's up there. Is it a zombie child, like The Walking Dead? No, probably not. Okay. Tucked against the wall were old sleeping bag and a portable camping stove. The sleeping bag smelled earthy. It had been used recently? Norman, were you in those woods? Hmm. There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? Hell yeah. I opened up the old cardboard box and wasn't entirely surprised by what I saw. There were more of Rachel's things. More of my wife's clothes. Felt those shoes. Even that old radio I gave her. Why, Rachel? What were you doing here with Norman? Hmm. Was she going to contact the undead? Or was she just cheating on you? Planning on moving out and leaving you? And you got mad and killed Norman and chased someone down? Because or... that wasn't Rachel's body we found. It was someone else's. So It's kind of braid-like, I guess, in a way. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept cleaning it up when there were water rings and two cups still there in the wood. It's in the bin. Kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yes, you did. I found a hairpin amongst the rotten food and trash and pocketed it. Ah, I got a lock-picking device. Excelente. We can pick a lock now. Exactly what I want to do. Anyway, so I guess we've explored all we can up here. Let's go back downstairs. What were you doing, Norman? With Rachel's things? What were you doing? What were you doing? I used the hairpin to pick the lock. The hairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. This guy is pretty resourceful if you can pick a lot with a hairpin. The general store was small, but it was clean. It had usual things, postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. Yeah. Needed anything. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah, she was fucking Norman. The register was mostly empty and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Okay. The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. Ooh, defrosting. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. Looked to be in much better shape then. I think I've had a massive fight with someone. That night continued to take horrible turn after horrible turn. It had been weeks since I'd last seen Norman, but I found him like that. As I thought of him still lying on the floor back there, the gun I carried seemed ever present. Seeing that dusty box of those old clothes was a shock. How long had they been there? And what was Rachel doing at Norman's place? I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers, but I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. All oh, right, okay, let's rock and roll. This home? It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. Okay, that's not home. Is this home? The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. Okay. I'm waiting to find a bloody one. Oh, this one must be mine. The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Hell yeah, you looked at the letter. The envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. The letter read, Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did? Well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out away from you both. I'm going away for a while. 
going to tell him, Norman, so don't you think you can hold that against me. I'm going to tell him and get past this. Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I even want to. He deserves at least that much. Goodbye. So she definitely was cheating on you with Norman, then. And she'd sent him a letter saying, I'm going to tell him. And I went schizo and killed her. Had the wrong gate. This one was locked. There was blood next to that. I saw that blood. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding. It chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Well, because we're going to find Rachel's body. Dum dum dum, you're going to have killed your wife. Because she cheated on you, motherfucker. I held my breath as I approached my owl back door. It was terrified to step inside. Well, we're stepping inside. I control you, not yourself. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. Okie dokie. The table was clean. It hadn't been used any time recently. I'm tense. I'm a bit nervous. Let's explore the ground floor first. What's this? There was a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why didn't Rachel pick this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Yeah, why not? I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about cancelling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? The front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out, though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if you really do, but okay. The door to the basement was locked. Where had I put the damned key? Okay, so that's, I guess, we're going to be going down to the basement. Oh, it's a great place to go. How? This is quite a big house if it's got a second staircase. Oh, big house. An old photo of Rachel and me stared back at me. That's a really weird sentence, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Yeah. I replaced the photo in my wallet, feeling like I had got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Because you were angry at wife for cheating on you. He's a bit thick at this point. Our television. I would purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but by then it was too late. So, they probably fired him from his job, he became a raging alcoholic, or well, because he was a raging alcoholic, then his wife cheated on him with Norman, he went schizo. Uh, the door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. Okay, so we need a key. We need a lot of keys here! Are we playing Zelda or what? 